Hey guys, how you doing? This is Swan with Liberty Graphic Designs. And if you ever wonder how to transfer your files from, uh, let's say for example, from like Corel Draw or any design to be digitized for embroidery, we're gonna do that today. So let's get right to it. Uh, last week, um, Alexander asked me if I can, uh, if I can make a video showing how to transfer the, the files or your files to get them embroidered and I said sure why not so that's what we're doing right now I'm sorry guys the lighting in here is really bad um, I'm actually shooting this video on a, on a GoPro so I had to turn the light behind me I had to turn it off because it was creating a big glare on the on the um, on the video so but let's get right to it so I'm gonna start with uh, the I use Corel draw for my designing I also use flexi it's actually uh, the one I use is called LXI if you look down here on my on my screen you see LXI that's the one that I use for um, to create like like logos and stuff it's, it's a lot faster I'm a lot faster that one that where you see new image the one right next to it is Corel draw which um, most of you know so let's go into Corel draw there's uh, there's a few ways of doing it um, you can grab say for example we can grab a file off of um, the web so I'm gonna say for example we're gonna look for an eagle you grab the the image that you want copy and then we paste it on um, so for example right here right but you see how pixelated it is I'm gonna grab another one that's easier So let's delete that one. Let's paste this one. This one's a lot easier, but see the pixelation right there? So we're gonna do a quick um, trace. So we go into the outline uh, linear or line art. Okay, we don't need that file. Um, we don't need that file anymore. This is the one that we need. This is already been vectorized. See, there's no, there's no pixelation, just a, a clean line. And that's what you need for the. Um, that's what you need to get it to get it in, uh, into the other software to get it digitized. So it's very easy. We're gonna put this one right in the center. So um, it's right there. Let me check the size. Uh, on on the uh, hats, I'm gonna embroider a hat. So the hats, this one's right here. We can only embroider about two and a quarter inches and right now if you look if you look at this right here we're really close to to that so uh, we can go up a little more but I'm gonna leave it like that so look how easy it is so we're gonna do a, a control C for to copy and then we'll go into Corel drawings so this is drawings if you look at over here in the corner I should have made my I should have made my uh, my cursor where you can see it. It's a little too late for that. Anyways, so we click on that and then we'll co we'll do a um, Control V as in Victor to paste. You can either do a click, a right click, or a copy and paste. So and that's it. That's how easy it is. I mean, it's not it's not really hard. I mean, as you can see, it's already been trans transferred. It's the same size. If you notice, you know, nothing changed. It's completely in the center, but I want it to be. Um, if you if you look in here, there's a line. I'm a, I'm a unselected, and there's a line right here. You're gonna be able to see that line. You see it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here into density, and see how it is at density point or zero point fifty five. We're gonna change that to point. Um, let me see thirty five, and that's gonna that's gonna change this. See now we cannot see. So we just added a bunch of threads. I'm also gonna change, see how the threads are going like this? I'm gonna change them. So they go in a different way. I'm also gonna go back over here and the underlay, I wanted to have um, a better underlay. And just, that's it, it's it's done. That's I mean, ready to go. Um, all we gotta do is just save it and uh, let me see um, 
I bring this over here so you don't see where I put it. <laughs> so let's go into. Let me save it real quick and uh. Okay, so that's been saved. I'm gonna put a USB drive in my computer right now, so you'll see the window pop pop. Move it out of the way. Um, and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna. This is how you transfer your files from your computer to your embroidery machine. So. Go to File, Save As, and then we'll wait for the little window to pop. Oh, it actually popped on the other side. Okay, so I got a dual monitor, so it went on my other monitor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the um, uh, the the target. In this case, I wanted to go to a USB, and that's my USB. And then now we're gonna change the format because if you see this uh, drawings, uh, file or draw. We're gonna change that format because our um, embroidery machine is not gonna be able to read that. So we're gonna go and change it to Tajima DST. Select it. There's our file name. This is the other name, the other files that are in the USB, and just select uh, save and then Tajima normal. Okay, and that's how many stitches are in this eagle. So that's it. That's how easy it is. We got our design that done. So. It's right here in this USB. I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna bring you to my, if I can pick it up. I might bring you over to um, my embroidery machine. And here we are, the embroidery machine. Let's turn it on. And I'm using a Tajima single head. So I'm just gonna put that. Let's clear that and make sure there's nothing in there, nothing else. And then we're going to select that right there, or our USB. And see right there, there's the eagle. And it's been selected. So now I need to grab a, a cap that I can, I'm just going to grab this one. This is just for a sample, so or for the video. So now, okay, so what we gotta do is, actually that was the right color, it's the right color. And on the hats, the machine embroider is upside down, so I have to change it to 180. And then, for a tray, so let me, let me put you down for a little bit. And I'm gonna show you all my mess. Let me set up the hat. Okay, so this is how we set up a hat to be in border. Okay, so now the Position that I want the the logo in. It's gonna be. Let me see if you can see that. So I want to have it. I want to have it in between this little wedge right here. So it's right on the side of the hat. So I'm gonna bring. I'm actually working on needle number seven. I'm gonna bring that one down so I can do my trace. I can tell you right now that's too high. Yeah, that's too high. That's the reason why you can't embroider a big design on a hat, because it'll <coughs> it will hit this little bar right here. So and that's it, it's ready to go, so we're gonna press start.
guys as you can see that was very easy see it didn't take a lot of time so I mean there's other ways of doing it if if I was to design that eagle from scratch like uh, like like we do like blah, 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 I can talk if I was to uh, design that ego from scratch like for example using welcome or even Corel draw or even or, or even uh, raw, uh, drawings it would have taken a little longer than that so by using Corel draw and then just importing your files over makes it a lot easier and you can do the same thing with Corel not Corel I'm sorry you can do the same thing with um, welcome welcome is probably the number one software that uh, industry uses and it, it's also based out of uh, Corel Draw, so it's very easy. It's literally a click of a button. So I will be having that software. Hopefully, I we placed an order this week, and I think they're gonna ship it on Monday. So next week we're gonna have that software, and hopefully I can upload videos using that software. I currently have an older version of of um, uh, Welcome, but I don't use it. I haven't used it in like over two years. So I'm, I can't wait till the other one gets here. We placed an order for another embroidery machine. So again, hopefully next week we'll have another embroidery machine. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to get it. So guys, if you like this video, uh, make sure you smash the little thumbs up and uh, uh, share and like it. Wait, this is like, right? <laughs> Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I, need you, I need your help to make this channel grow. Because if, if we can make this channel grow, then we can do a lot of giveaways. And I cannot do it without you guys. Thank you for watching. Alexander, If uh, let me know if this video helped you out. If you want to see not only Alexander, but any of you or all of you. If you want to see something else uh, done, let me know. Drop us a line. Put a little comment and let me know. Hey, Juan, can you uh, make a video about anything that I can make you know um, if I can make it I will make it I'll make you a video and I uh, load it so you can watch if you want to learn how to do uh, anything with screen printing with embroidery or even just decals like vinyl decals or heat press material I'm gonna be doing some embroidery today and some some uh, heat press material so guys again thank you for watching it's a pleasure make sure to subscribe hit the little bell like right there just ding it ding the little bell so you're notified when I'm uh, uploading new videos so thank you for watching catch you on the next one peace out